In its continuous quest to take over the world, Apple has now launched Apple Pay in the UK. Yep, it's extended to us here nine months after it rolled out in America. Now we can tap and pay with our iPhones, but only if you've got a 6, a 6 Plus or an Apple Watch. And you can only spend up to 20 quid, so we'll already have a batch of irritated people on our hands. So. How does it work? Well, you tap your phone on payment points, the same as contactless cards, but you must keep a finger on the Touch ID to complete the transaction. And you store your credit and debit cards through the Passbook app. But what about fraud? Well, Apple Pay includes an extra security measure known as tokenization. It's meant to make sure that the card details stored on your phone are never passed to the retailer. Instead, rather than receiving your card number, your expiration date, your billing address, they only receive a device specific token and a one-time use security code. You can use Apple Pay in actual shops and online, and banks supporting it include NatWest, Nationwide and RBS. Also, Apple has apparently promised a second wave in the autumn, including Lloyds and M&S. So it works in supermarkets like Waitrose and the Co-op, in restaurants including Nando's and Pret, and on London's rail and bus networks. So it's basically a digital wallet, once again eliminating another physical thing that you have on your person. I don't see what's wrong with having an actual purse and an actual credit card in my hand. I personally don't like it. But it's not all about me, I know, so let me know what you think of Apple Pay, and if you've used it yet, tell us how you got on. Oh, and of course, subscribe.